brought a couple of things with me. The first thing was, no matter what we say, you're not getting out of it. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, the second thing was, we already have way too many stories about work, so it better be about passion. And then the third thing is, it's supposed to be about risk. But the, the fact is, risk has never really been my challenge. I would say that my challenge is more commitment. So for, <laughs> so for those of you that know me, yeah, commitment is definitely not my forte. Um, between university and business school, I lived on five different continents. I had at least 15 different jobs. Diplomat, nanny, waitress, aerial photography assistant. Um, for a while, I was the brand ambassador for Under Armour. They were desperate. Um, <laughs> at, at one point, I don't even count this. I was the sous dessert chef in a restaurant until I got fired for burning my boss's arm hair with a crimson <laughs> torch. <laughs> Unfortunately, a true story. Um, and that was just my professional life. Uh, King of Holland. King of Holland. That's another one. Anyway, <laughs> this may be recorded. Um, <laughs> Then there was my love life. I dated so many different guys that my <laughs> flatmate actually gave up trying to learn their first names and <laughs> just referred to them by their drink of choice. Um, <laughs> there was Tanqueray, Bombay, Jose, a number of Jacks and Johnnies. Uh, my favorite was White Russian. He was just too classy for me, so that did it. Um, and so, needless to say, my family, when I managed to stay with someone for a couple of years, more or less, they were very surprised. Um, we had met in Buenos Aires, then we were living in Delhi, but I was actually moving to Singapore at the end of the summer, so everybody figured, okay, well, let's manage expectations. That's it, right? So, um, Nonetheless, before my move to Singapore, we had one last trip, which was actually to the US. It was to visit my family, and um, we always wanted to throw them to get tourism, so we were doing the American West. You know, Grand Canyon, Monument Valley, uh, Lake Powell, cheap motels, overpriced margaritas, <laughs> gas guggling SUV. It was basically the American dream. Right, so we, we, had, we had gotten through that, and um, we were on actually the last evening of our trip before we flew back to Atlanta to spend a few days with my insane family, and um, it was the highlight actually of the trip because we had been trying for months, if not years, to get a reservation at a specific restaurant. So I mentioned that um, I have trouble with commitment, but one thing that I've always been committed to is food and drink. <laughs> so this restaurant, which was called Bouchon, is actually one of the restaurants of Thomas Keller. He's kind of a culinary god, for those of you that have other things to do with your life, rather than study these things. Uh, he has been named a you know, top American chef, Michelin stars. Even Anthony Rodin said he's one of the, his restaurant is the best restaurant in the world. Anyway, we were very excited. So we had a few hours to kill before heading to the restaurant. So we were in Vegas and not being very good gamblers, you know me and my math skills, wasn't gonna happen, no Rain Man situation. We said, what can we do for a few hours to kill time before the dinner? So we decided, why don't we just wander along the Vegas Strip and we'll have one glass of champagne at each casino that we happen upon. It sounds like a, <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like a very, very reasonable idea. There's just one little snafu, which is that there are around 45 casinos on the strip. So after a number of casinos, I can't say exactly how many, I came to the brilliant conclusion that we should get married. So as you go to the, <laughs> we go to the Vegas courthouse, we waited in a long line. I remember meeting a lovely young man that was trying to get a death certificate for his uncle. Small point, the uncle was outside in the car. <laughs> uh, we, we got to the front of the line, we got the certificate. We were not at the top of our faculties, which we found out later when inspecting the certificate because Christoph, not only his name was incorrect, but he was listed as Indian. <laughs> Singapore, I think it's <laughs> the only reason I haven't got my PR because I'm obviously over 
never qualified. But <laughs> anyway, so we got out of the courthouse. Time to go to the chapel. It's basically, if you've ever gotten married in Vegas, I'm sure many of you have, <laughs> it's a meat market. You walk out of the courthouse, limos galore. We've got Elvis and Shakira, 200 bucks. We've got, you know, mugs, and we give you a tattoo of your husband on your face in case you forget tomorrow. <laughs> we opted for the shortest because we had a dinner reservation, right? <laughs> Transvestite, swimming pool, later, we made it to the restaurant. Um, little did I know that Christoph was planning to propose, so he popped out a ring for the dessert course. <laughs> Never mind, but the more important thing was we got to the U.S. the next morning, and I'm a big, very popular with my father because we still have a picture of him giving himself a fifty-dollar bill and saying, "Nobody can say I didn't pay for my daughter's wedding." <laughs>